sure. Great. Come on over around, uh... 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 uh there's that new girl in school. I wonder if she's as nice as she looks. And they look that good, who cares? <laughs> well, if you're that interested, why don't you go and talk to her? Forget it. She's only been here two days. She's already shot down more guys in the Red Baron. <laughs> hi, my name is Karen Jennings. Hi! <clears throat> hi, hi. My name's, uh, uh, you're Jamie Lawson. Right, right, it was on the tip of my tongue. How'd you know my name? Oh, I know everything about you, Jamie. Ooh. <laughs> I know you live around the corner from me. I know my dad's your dad's new boss at United Robotronics. And I also know that you're just my kind of guy. Whoa! <laughs> like to go for some pizza after school, cutie? Hey. <laughs> okay. Good. I'll come by your house after school. See you later, handsome. Yeah. I can't believe it. Out of every guy in school, she picked me. It's incredible. Boy, now I know what they mean when they say, love is blind. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Annie. Oh, hi, Annie. How was your day? Oh, it was fun. I went shopping with Vicky. I see. Did you put a big dent in the credit card? Well, it was more of a fender bender. <laughs> oh, but it was worth it. Look at all the great things that I got for. Mm. Uh, Vicky, would you come out here, please? You like? Oh, I like. She's adorable, honey. Yeah, you know, I decided to mix up her clothes more, like a real little girl. Yeah. Uh, Vicky, would you gather up these boxes, please? So, how was your day, honey? Well, it was uh, interesting. Uh, we got a new vice president. Oh, somebody in the office got a promotion? No, somebody in the president's family got a promotion. His son, Harold Jennings. Oh, figures. Huh. Have you met him yet? Uh, only for a second. I was just another pretty face in the crowd. <laughs> I got to figure out a way to get him to notice me. Well, you could always invite him over for dinner. Oh, honey, that's so obvious. I look like Brandon Brendel trying to suck up for a promotion. Oh, I see, and you prefer to suck up in your own way. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Aren't you just a little overdressed for pot roast? No, I'm having dinner out. I have a date. A date? Oh, with whom? A new girl in the neighborhood. The word fox comes racing to my lips. <laughs> Sounds like the fox is going out with a wolf. The boxes are all picked up. Oh, thanks, Vicky. You can throw them away in the kitchen, please. Dad, can I have an advance of $10 on my allowance? You're already well advanced into the 21st century. Jamie, you should have thought about having enough money before you asked this girl out. Oh, I didn't ask her. She asked me. Well, then let her father come up with the ten bucks. He sure could afford it. He's your new boss. My new boss? <laughs> Harold Jennings' daughter? Yep, that's her, Karen Jennings. Here's ten bucks, Jimmy. <laughs> well, Karen's going to be here any second. I'm going to go put on some clothes. Use mine. It's uh, on top shelf. It's called Private Eye. One whiff and she'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> Joni, come on. I mean, what can it hurt, right? They must be Karen. Oh, Vicky, would you answer the door, please? Be charming and smile a lot. And you up, up, what? up, up. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Vicky. I have to be charming and smile a lot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ted. I'm Jamie's dad, and this is Jamie's mom. Come on in. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jamie. I'm all ready. Mmm, I like your cologne. When with, and you'll follow him anywhere. <laughs> uh, she's always making little jokes. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you kids have a good time, huh? Have a good time. Have a great time. Have a wonderful time. Have the time of your young lives. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juice. Cereal. 
toast. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Hi, Karen. I have something for Jamie. Is he awake yet? Not yet. I was just going to wake him up for breakfast. No, don't. Let me do that. I'll surprise him. It'll be fun to serve my man breakfast in bed. <laughs> Time to wake up. I can get up whenever I want. It's Saturday. Time to get up. <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Hi. Karen! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm bringing you breakfast in bed. Cute stuff. <laughs> Thanks. But first, I better go brush my teeth. You know, morning mouth. <laughs> Would you mind turning around and covering your eyes? Sure. I like modesty in a man. <laughs> Cute PJs. <laughs> Vicky, bring me my robe and slippers, please. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Hi, Harriet. Who's that? That's Karen Jennings. The word fox comes racing to my lips. <laughs> and what is that? That's Harriet Brindle, our neighbor and favorite peeping tomboy. <laughs> what are you doing in my man's bedroom? Get lost, button nose. <laughs> I moved in on you and I'm here to stay. You can turn out the lights. The party's over. That's what you think, Eagle Beak. <laughs> I'm small, but I'm dangerous. Sort of like a warthog. Besides, I've got Jamie right under my thumb. My dad is his dad's boss. Well, if you don't want to get your dad fired, you better beat it. Because my dad's your dad's new boss. Is that a threat? Yes. Just checking. See ya. <laughs> The Big J's back. Miss me? I sure did, dimple cheeks. <laughs> I brought you something. Oh, a ring? Uh-huh. Does this mean we're going steady? No. It means we're engaged to be married. <laughs> married? I don't think we could live on my allowance. <laughs> I mean when we're old enough. Uh, there isn't anybody else, is there? Nope, you're numero uno. You're the queen bee and I live for your sting. <laughs> Good. Because if you ever do look at another woman ever in your life, you're dead meat, Buster. <laughs> Turn out the lights. The party's over. <laughs> play some basketball. See ya. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Back up the bus here. What about breakfast? Oh, I already ate. Karen gave me breakfast. Karen? She also gave him a ring. <laughs> a ring? See? Well, well, well. She must like you very much. Huh? Well, you know, some of us have got it. Just so happens, I'm full of it. <laughs> well, you say that again. <laughs> What, does this mean that you and Karen are going steady? No. According to her, we're engaged to be married. <laughs> married. Keep up the good work, Jamie. Only problem is that the second she gave me this ring, she acted kind of pushy. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. You see, occasionally women like to think that they're the boss, and sometimes we just have to let them have their fun. Uh, <laughs> I gotta be at the golf course in 20 minutes. Oh, no, you don't. Back up the bus. You promised me that you would take out the trash and rake the leaves and mow the lawn. But, honey. Ted. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm just letting her have her fun. Want some more juice, boss? Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> 
Hey, Jamie. Hey, Reg. Ready for a little two on two? Are you kidding? Watch this. He's on your team. <laughs> We're playing basketball. That's okay. I'll just be our cheerleader. Jamie, Jamie, she's divine. She can play a dunk me anytime. Harriet, Harriet, go fly south. Take your freckles and your mouth. Hi. Tell everybody the good news about us. What good news? Yeah. Jamie and I are engaged to be married. Whoa! <laughs> Jamie, you can't marry her. She has money, looks, and brains. <laughs> you two have nothing in common. <laughs> Why don't you take a hike, bird legs? <laughs> bird legs? You should talk, bird brains. <laughs> You all can leave now. Jamie and I wish to be alone. Hey, you can't kick us out, little mama. We came over here to play basketball, and we're not leaving unless Jamie tells us to leave. Right, Jamie? Right. You can leave now. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Why? Boy, Jamie, the way you let her lead you around like that, you ought to take that ring off your finger and wear it in your nose. <laughs> Karen, you shouldn't do that to me in front of the guys. It's embarrassing. It's just that I'm so jealous. I want to have you all to myself, handsome. I have important things to discuss with you. Yeah. Vicky, we want to be alone. Mom told me to water the plants. Maybe you should water the plants some other time. You're lost, but knows. I'm here to stay. <laughs> the way Vicky stands up to a man. She reminds me of me. <laughs> okay, Karen. What was so important that you had to discuss with me? Your future. You're going to be a doctor. Why? Because my mother says so. She says a man has to provide a woman with the bare necessities of life. What bare necessities? The three M's. Money, mansion, and a Mercedes. <laughs> Right, Vicky? Right, Eagle Beak. <laughs> Karen, isn't that asking a lot? Yes, but I'm worth it. What are you, a spineless wimp? <laughs> Vicky, I'm gonna make a man out of him whether he likes it or not. You're dead meat, Buster. <laughs> Good morning, Lawson. <laughs> Mr. Jennings, what a surprise. Please, please come in. Uh, Joan, I'd like you to meet uh, Mr. Jennings, my new boss at the office. This is my wife, Joan. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Jennings. Oh, Harold. And uh, this is my wife, uh, Cynthia. Mrs. Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> and who's this handsome young guy here? <laughs> Introduce yourself to your father's employee. <laughs> I'm uh, my son, Chip. Oh, hi, Chip. How you doing? Uh, we, we just dropped by to pick, pick up Karen. <laughs> oh, uh, she's in the backyard with Jamie and Vicky. Who's Vicky? Oh, well, she's our daughter. But as a matter of fact, she's just about your age. Why don't you go out there and introduce yourself to her? Uh, it's right that way through the kitchen. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Chip, Karen's brother. Hi, I'm Vicky, Jamie's sister. Wow, you're pretty. I'm also adorable. I'll say. I can feel sparks between us already. Sparks between us. You can feel them too? C 
Can I kiss you on the cheek? You can kiss me on the cheek. I think I've met the woman of my dreams. Hey, we were made for each other. Well, I guess we'll be seeing a lot more of each other now that we're going to be um, in-laws. In-laws? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jamie showed us the ring. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I mean, they're talking like they're really engaged. Yeah. Well, the ring even looks real. It is. It's mine. We really must sit down one evening and talk about the wedding plans. <laughs> Your wife has a great sense of humor. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I'm quite serious about the wedding plans. Well, Mrs. Jennings, the idea of two 12-year-olds getting engaged is ridiculous. Ah, uh, Ted, Joan, let me explain. Harold, see... stop monopolizing the conversation. <laughs> There's a tradition in our families. Both our parents and our grandparents and our great-grandparents all married their childhood sweethearts. I'm proud to say there has never been a divorce yet. True, Harold? <clears throat> Too true. All are happy marriages. Right. Happy. <laughs> My daughter has chosen your son, and they too shall have a happy marriage when they come of age. And you share her views, Harold? Well, in, in my opinion, I... Harold, dear, when I want your opinion, I'll give you one. <laughs> Naturally, any family that my daughter marries into should be on a social and financial level compatible to ours. Regrettably, you're not. <laughs> but I've generously decided to have Harold help your situation. To uh, raise us up from the slums, as it were. There's a vice presidency in your future, Mr. Lawson. Now that that's out of the way, congratulations. You've married into a wonderfully warm and beloved family. Well, 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 there are just a couple of little things that I'd like to say here. Oh, more than a couple. Hello, Mother. Hi, Father. Hi, darling. And this must be my future son-in-law. Uh, Ted, you were about to say something? I certainly was. About this marriage business. Mom, Dad, this is Jamie's sister, Vicky. She's really neat. Can I marry her? <laughs> we were made for each other. <laughs> of course you can marry her, Chip. You can have anything you want. You hear that, Vicky? We're going to get married. You have to give me the three M's. Money, mansion, and a Mercedes. <laughs> huh? What are you, a spineless wimp? I'm going to make a man out of you whether you like it or not. I like that girl. <laughs> Harold, let's make it a double wedding. Mrs. Jennings, by the time that they're old enough to get married, the only thing that's going to be double is your chin. You see, there's a tradition in this family, too. It's called marrying the one you love. And only when you're mature enough to know something about life. This is all nonsense. There will be no engagements and no weddings. All right. Well, if that's your attitude, you can just kiss your vice presidency goodbye. Come, children. Come, Harold. Great. Now we gotta start all over again with another spineless whip. <laughs> Mr. Jennings, listen, I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to talk to your wife like that. Don't be sorry. I mean, I loved it. <laughs> what? That was the first time anybody ever stood up to Cynthia in her life. Including me. You're an inspiration. Harold! Get out here this instant! Cynthia! Go suck an egg! <laughs> Boy, that's no good! I'm gonna go find some soap and get this ring off my finger. I can't believe a guy letting himself get handpacked like that. 
I mean, a man should be the, the strength of his family, the, the king of his castle, right? Yeah, and along those lines, how about you women taking out the garbage, raking the leaves, and mowing the lawn for a change? Ted, go, go suck, suck an egg. egg. Hey!